Hey guys, what's up? Hey y'all, it's India. I'm Tyler Royale. And y'all can follow me on Instagram at Indy Monet. And y'all can follow me at Tyler Royale. So today, what we got? What we got this. <laughs> this is my real sister. Yes, real sisters. Period. Mm -hmm. But today we're here to we're, talk to you guys. Yes, we're gonna talk to you, uh, tell you guys about us a little bit, who we are, um, just our background, and just girl talking stuff. But while we're doing it, we're going to be trying out exotic fruits. And we're going to be trying them out and telling you guys what we think. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so what fruits do we have? What, which fruit are we going to try first? Let's try the star fruits. Okay. So, me and Tyler, we're both the same. Like, we just like to do stupid shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're different, <laughs> but we're... Okay, wait, hold on. Is it nasty? Okay, so let me just tell y'all about myself and then you can go into yourself. So, I don't know. This is going to be featured on both of our YouTube. So, um, I don't know. I'm an artist. I sing, I song, right? But I'm also into beauty and stuff like that. And um, on my page, I have music, mm -hmm. covers, beauty tips, and videos like this, like sister tags and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. And I'm from, I'm from Atlanta. I like to say I'm from Atlanta. <laughs> but I'm really not, though. I'm from Gwinnett. But I was born on the South Side. And I was raised in Gwinnett. Well... I'm technically from the South Side. I say I'm from the South Side, but um, like, oh. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, yeah, I went to um, like most of my school out there. But I graduated from North Atlanta. That is in this city. She went to the Cloud School. Shut up. <laughs> but, uh, no, I didn't. Um, that school was actually boring as fuck. But no, um, my name is India. Like I said, I do lashes. I do lash extensions. Um, Celebrity lash artist. Shut the fuck. Uh, I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, um, I've been doing lashes for about two years now. Um, Tyler, like growing up, Tyler was more so like into like the beauty thing, and I was like, she used to be mad at me. Yeah, like she been wearing makeup. Be grown. She been wearing makeup since like middle school for real. Hell yeah. And I was just so against it. Like I used to just be like, no, nah, like anything new, I'm not a fan of. Like especially like when it comes to me doing something new, not like trying new shit, but like you know, like wearing new shit, like a new style or something. I don't really like that. Like, but look at you now. I know. Right it's now. crazy, y'all. Amy was slick a tomboy. Yeah. Not, not a tomboy, but like just on that natural, like I don't even like weave yeah. type shit. And then like look at her five bundles Shut the and fuck up. full lashes. And then it's crazy because it's like me, I'm just over here, little pink afro, natural, eclectic. <laughs> Black power. <laughs> you do not look like that. I'm dead. But no, oh, like, so yeah, me and Tyler are definitely different like as far as that goes yeah but we have the same personality no, no, no personality. same interest same interest yeah just she's a little bit more like ahead i feel like of the curve like she likes to rebel like they doing this nah i'm gonna do something different like hell yeah that's me that's Tyler. that's me right there for real okay so now we're gonna go into korean melon and here's a fun fact oh korean pears my bad yeah you gotta swoop the middle out I'll just scoop that shit out with a spoon. Oh. I'll just dig it out. Here's a fun fact. Me and India are a fourth Korean because our dad is half Korean. So if you don't know, like, we're really, we I really have a lot of culture. Yeah, I think that's why we kind of like so open with stuff. With food. Yeah. And just different cultures because like, we've been exposed to a lot of different stuff. So how do you feel about the sex trafficking thing? <laughs> <laughs> <Bitch really. laughs> okay let me tell y'all how i feel about it first of all i feel i feel a little shook about it because i think that's one of my worst fears is like to get kidnapped so yeah like i'm i'm, I'm a little nervous about it but i know that it's been happening like everyone says like Atlanta's like the biggest hub for it and then like when i go that's in the airport because i always fly by myself like i don't know why but um when I be flying, like, you know how they be having on the, um, on the billboard, like, sex trafficking? Yes. And talking about it. And I be looking out for people, like, mm, I wonder if she has sex trafficking. Sex trafficking is getting so bad. Like, girls have really gone missing out here. So, if you're in Atlanta, like, just please try to stay safe. Like, I even had, like, an encounter. And, you know, like, how they be, like, bitches, every, every bitch got a uh, sex trafficking story. Yeah. But, no, for real, like, I had something happen that was, like, I didn't even know what it was. But then I found out later that it was linked to sex trafficking. Like, so when like, people too close to me behind, behind me in the line, like, when we in the line, I get nervous. Like, I look back, like, right. why are you behind me that close? So, I just, I'm a nervous person. Y'all just stay alert. No, like today, y'all, um, this is really embarrassing, but because I've been watching the videos like on Twitter and like, you know, on Instagram. To, oh, let's try, let's try one of the dragon fruits. Okay, let's okay. try this one. Okay. Y'all, this is so pretty though. 
this how you know when it's bright like when it's like almost dying your finger this red dragon fruit and it's so soft you can just eat it just like this like just dig right into it all right so mm, what does it taste like <laughs> it tastes like earth <laughs> Like earth, <laughs> <laughs> she tastes nasty. You don't care, <laughs> girl. I knew I was gonna need some water because nah, this tastes it tastes better in a refresher at Starbucks. <laughs> that's it has sugar and attitude. I, I put some sugar on it, I just get it from you. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's ghetto. <laughs> I knew this was gonna be nasty. The girls claiming they exotic till it's time to eat the fruit. And then you see these little lines in here, they look like a membrane. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like, it's scary. Ugh, it's like, mm -hmm. what is it? It's that's not good. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm a boyfriend. Um, I think the world knows that by now. <laughs> okay, but I was just letting them know. Okay, come in. But um, <laughs> so Tyler, be um. Whatever. So Tyler be asking me for like relationship advice, and you know I like to give it to people because <laughs> to girls because fuck these niggas like they're not shit <laughs> like they're really not okay but um so Tyler was talking to this new guy and she was on my house because actually Tyler does my hair um so that's how she knew how many bundles I had but uh, <laughs> but um so she's dating this new guy and she was doing my hair and she um basically planned on seeing him after she was done with my hair or whatever and she just braided the hair that day so she, well, after she was done. She was gonna go over there. And he was just like making her wait around and stuff. And I was just like, not nah, like. He called and was like, You wanna go bowling? And I was like, Yeah. He was like, All right, I'm gonna go do something real quick and call you back and let you know. But that's like, that's like giving me like, uh, not a, t a real time, like, okay, let me know when. And so, like, his communication is like, I let you know when I'm, when it's convenient for me, when I'm available. And so, you need to be available. That's how he was like, he was kicking it. But at the time, like, I wasn't really thinking about it too hard. And plus, it was already getting late. It was well, like, Well, this is how I feel about it. Like, in the beginning, I feel like you gotta set boundaries with people. Especially guys, because you know they just trying to see how far they can go with you, and you trying to see the same. This bitch told me to go home. She said, like, first of all, when you talk, like, in the beginning, when you talking to a guy, like, shit should be planned out. Like, it shouldn't be like, oh, I'm gonna do this, and then like, nah, like, if you want to see me, you gonna plan some shit out. Good, you know. And I felt that. So then you in and like, okay, let's say that I wasn't her sister, and I was like a real client that she was going over, she was just going over the house. Like, it wouldn't be cool to be like, oh, can I just wait around here for my boyfriend? Right. While burn, burn. After you done doing a service, like that's awkward, you know. Awkward like, as hell. So, so wait, he tell me what you told me to do. So I was just like, because he, first of all, then, then like he when he did hit her up because he didn't hit her up for like an hour. And yeah, after he called me. After he told her about the bowling thing, then he sent her address to his friend's house and was just like, come up to my friend's house, like. And this is a fourth date, so you know I feel some type of way. Like, no, I'm not going. To, I, first of all, I'm not going to your house, and I'm I'm not going to your friend's house because I'm not trying to get out. Like, like. But you that, know what? Like, I think guys, they're they're really like they're what you which, whatever you're trying to be on. That's what they own. Cause I don't think his intentions was bad. Yeah, but I don't think his intentions was like bad or anything. But he was just like just seeing if I would come out late and wait on him and work on him. Yeah, team. I don't think his intentions was bad. He's a good guy though. I don't want to talk shit about him on camera. But I did follow what India told me, and it worked. Okay, so. She told my ass to go home, straight up. But he was calling me and I wasn't home. So she was like, answer, but hop in my bed, <laughs> get under my covers and tell me that you're at home. And so I was like, I'm home. And, and I feel like, like his respect level probably grew like at least two notches. Like, okay, she not waiting on me like, it's yeah, too he late. Me and trip, but he was like, damn, fuck me, huh? And she said he was a little below, but honey, next day, hit me up right early during the day. Like, what you trying to do? And he waited for me the next day. I didn't wake up a few hours. <laughs> Uh, no, this is good. no, but I had him waiting because I was doing something. I was actually doing her hair, but bitch, we, you want a whole nother fruit than me. No, this is good. Okay, so this it is so good. It is so freaking good. It has a little sour twang to it. Are you familiar? No, this is good as fuck. Hold up. No, that was good as fuck. I just ate the whole thing. Mm. Wait, what you say? So let's talk. Just thoughts on this shit. Really look like a membrane. No, for real. Like I feel like I ate a brain. <laughs> <laughs> this shit really do look like a membrane. <laughs> you just see it in here? It's good though. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, like. What are your thoughts like on these girls just like being Movie mixy? Atlanta? Girls being mi be mixy in general. Being mixy in general, like what's so the wait, story? What's, I have a question. What's your definition of mixy? Mixy to me is like a girl who always in some drama, always got something to do with something, or throw herself in a situation, even if it's not hers, like or just be like nosy, like how you know everything in Atlanta that's going on? You know, 
and then a girl who just like does shit for attention and really be fake for real <laughs> like nothing's real like how you friends with one girl that don't fuck with the other but you claim you so real <laughs> hold it down <laughs> like you hold me down but really well I it's you like, a messenger i feel like um you know atlanta like it's not like that everybody feel like they somebody in atlanta like it's been that way and mm -hmm. it's getting worse you know now that like you know atlanta's becoming popular like everybody wants to move here you know so everybody wants to be, be in the in crowd famous. Yeah, be Instagram famous for sure, but like be in the in crowd too. Everybody wants to go to the same places. So, you know, if you're gonna be in that in crowd, it gets a little um mixy. Yeah, and drama fied. <clears throat> Just because like people don't they aren't private with their business, like they tell their business to everybody and you can't trust nobody. Especially right. when everybody's trying to be somebody. You know what I mean? Yeah, everybody's like, trying to have some tea or something, I feel. Everybody's trying to get clout. Yes, clout is big. And nobody's trying to get money. So that's a really big thing, like Y'all broke as fuck and y'all be popular as fuck because y'all negative business be out. Like, and that's the thing with me fuck. is, well, you already know how I am. I am no way, shape, or form in any type of mix. I live in a cocoon. But me being an artist, like, I be around a lot. Well, me doing lashes because I do a lot of, like, you know, Instagram famous or, like, just girls that work in a club in Atlanta. I do all their lashes. So I hear about the drama that's going on. And. I, I wouldn't say I'm in the mix at all, but I'm well aware of what's going on in, in a lot of situations. I know like and what's going on shit, and it really do be some hell shit. So I feel like I'm an outsider looking in for sure. Like ladies, if you come to Atlanta or even dudes, like if you move to Atlanta, don't be on that. Don't try to be in the mix. Don't be on a clout chase. It's a lot of money out here. Like, but as far as like just trying to be cool with everybody and shit, it's just not worth it. Like, you know, it's just not worth it. That's how you burn out fast. And I'm sorry. Like, what really all these is. rappers and shit. Yes. Don't do it. Don't yeah. do it. it it's, it's just a hype. Yeah, like people literally, girls, they'll fuck with every Atlanta rapper. Any word. Just to say that they did. Like, what's the point of that? Okay, yeah. Every scammer, every rapper. You fuck every nigga. Don't be getting shit out of them. And be burnt. Like, burnt. <laughs> burnt. <laughs> burnt. Okay, so this is what we're going to do to wrap this video up. So let's rate. <laughs> what was that? Do that. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna rate this fruit one to ten. And then we're gonna give some advice, our last final words. And then if y'all want some more content, if y'all want some more girl talk with us, y'all need to get at us. First of all, follow us on Instagram. Okay, first. first of all, this was a zero. <laughs> wait, 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 let's start from the first fruit. Okay, so star fruit. Okay, I'll give it a solid three. Because it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like good. I don't even remember how it tastes. For real. Okay, I'm gonna give the star fruit a two. I'm gonna give it a three and a half. I wasn't <laughs> gonna say two, but I feel like it wasn't right, so I didn't get it at its best. But it was nasty. Honestly, it didn't taste like shit. <laughs> <laughs> it really didn't. But um, it was cute. No, for real, it was cute. It's and a little star. I even put something down there, so. It was a two. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, the pair. The pair was straight. I'm gonna give that a, um, okay. I'm gonna give the pair, I'm gonna give it a five. No, me too. I'm gonna give it a five. That's my favorite number. Uh, <laughs> no, because um, it was good, but it was like, I don't know. It was nothing. Like it was good, but it was really light. Yes, and it was I like expected light, it to be it was, sweeter. It was like a light apple. Yes, a very light, light, light apple. Yeah, like if you like real hungry, you're not gonna want a pear. Then, so okay, what do we have after that? This we had this thing. This was horrible. Ah. Like this was nasty as fuck. <laughs> like for real. Well, okay, so what would you rate this? Zero. I'm gonna, <laughs> it, I'm gonna give it a negative one. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it a negative one because this shit had me fucked up. Okay. okay. It tastes like roots or something. <laughs> it tastes like earth. <laughs> like the seeds was throwing me off. The texture, it was just nasty. And it's dyed everywhere. Now. Because it's such a pretty fruit. Like you would expect it to taste yeah. way better. Yeah. Like, but it like is, it's bland. Yeah. It's nasty. Even if you put sugar on it. So yeah. that was a dub. But this, this was good. And I really don't know why. Because this is the same thing, right? It's in the same family, yeah. Okay, What's I'm going to give this. This is a yellow dragon fruit. This is a red one. I want to say, yeah. Oh, so these are different. I mean, yeah. I know they're different because of the color. But they, they taste different. Yeah, they taste yeah. way different. So I'm going to give this one, um, I'm going to give it an eight. It was the best one. Nah, this was a good eight. Yeah. Good eight or nine. Yeah. And I'm gonna give the golden kiwi. I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna give it a nine. I love sour shit. And it was good. Yeah, it, it was tastes, a little too sour for me. It, it tastes better than regular kiwi. Yeah, it definitely does taste better than And it's kiwi. not furry like the like the other kiwi. Like you know the other kiwi got hair on it. <laughs> yeah. So that one was good. So we rated our fruit. Y'all go try them. See it for yourselves. Let us know how you feel about the fruit. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to both of our channels. What's the name of your channel? Andy Monet Hope. Any Monet Hub, period. <laughs> so, okay, subscribe to both of our channels. If you want more sister tag videos, request that. We'll give it to you. But till next time. Peace. Peace. Oh, shit. Hold on.